Hello you two. It appears that your boiler tickets have expired and you will both need an o a full overhaul. We understand, sir. As you know, we are planning the 139th anniversary of the Wood Headline this year and I want all engines to wear their original numbers. Um, okay, if you say so. You don't like your old numbers? It's nothing. Haha, <laughs> don't lie to me. I know you too well. I'll come later to the works, so you can tell me the whole story. Yes, sir. Later that day, William and Nigel arrived at the Wood Headlines private works. It was constructed the year before to keep the locomotives in good working order, although it had not been used till now. After they were cooled down, the workmen started checking them over. That evening, Mr. Salmon arrived on board Edwin, who was also getting his old number back. Now, tell me your story. Well, the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway was operated by the Midland Railway. It had a lot of gradients as you went along and most of the locomotives were a little underpowered for them. More locomotives were needed for banking trains and similar work. So Henry Fowler, chief mechanical engineer at the time, drew a new class of locomotive, which was powerful enough for the inclines. In 1914, six locomotives were built and put into service. I was the pioneer of the class and my number was 80, while Williams was 81. We were allocated to the Bath Green Park station, pulling heavy goods trains and banking. By the war and the grouping, we were owned by the LMS, and in 1930, we numbered 9670 and 9671. We'd worked together by then for more, more often and became good friends. In 1932, we were again renumbered, although there were some mix-ups this time. I was supposed to be renumbered 13800, but for an unknown reason I was renumbered 13801. We continued working together there up until the war, when Sir William Stanier came up to us and told us we were going to be allocated. Hey, that's my designer you're talking about. Oi, shut up and listen to the story, will ya, Ed? Calm down, you lot. Nigel, please continue. Okay. Hello, engines. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. If you may ask, what brings you here? Bad news, I'm afraid. You're going to be split up. 13801, you're to stay here as a banker, and 13800, you're going to be allocated to London, Euston. We were horrified. We'd worked together for more than two decades. But, uh, sir! No, 13801, no buts. I'm sorry, but that's orders. We were split up and didn't know if we were going to see each other again, but certainly hoped we would. Next few years went by very slowly for me. Nobody knew when the war was going to end, and every day we counted airplanes flying by. 2001, 2002... One evening I arrived at Bath after banking a train up the gradient. I saw the station master standing on the platform looking worried. Sir, what seems to be the matter? I'm sorry, 13801. I've just heard from Control that London was it. 
13800 was resting at Houston at the time. I tried to phone them, but the line was cut. What? Yes. I'm sorry, 13801. I'm truly sorry. Uh, don't worry. It's not your fault. Thank you for telling me. Puffed into the sheds. There next to me I noticed a large engine. Its number was 8028. Hello. Hello. What seems to be the matter? Aye, my boiler's damaged and I can't steam. I was assigned to pull a freight train down to London but I didn't think there was any spare engines. Well, what about me? I don't have anything to do. But you're the banker, aren't you? You can't I leave. I'm sure they can manage without me. And even if anyone will need a banker, I'm sure the 2F over there can manage as well. Hey, alright then. My train's waiting in the yard. 30 coal wagons and my driver will let the station master know. So, I went to collect the train and took it all the way to London. London used to be precise. There, I saw a familiar 7F shunting in the yard. Hello? Hello, wait a minute. 13801? It's me, 13800. Weren't you destroyed in the bombing? What bombing? Bombing that happened earlier today? There was no bombing. Not here anyway. And did you get my message? What message? Ask the station master to call Bath and tell you that I'm doing fine. Eh? The station master told me you were bombed. I was worried sick. Ah well, glad you're here. Ah, telephone line must have cut out again. That's the third time this month. The war soon ended and we were soon back together at Bath. Although the war was over, we were far from safe. In 1948, the nationalization happened and we got the new owners and numbers. 53800 and 53801. Continued working together until 1959 when something none of us expected to happen did happen. 53800, I'm sorry, but you're to be withdrawn. Orders for British Rail. You've had a good life behind your mind. You were the first 7F to be built, but it looks like you're the first that has to go. 53801, you'll be working with an M7 from now on. His number's 30131. And he has assured me that he'll try and keep up with you. I understand, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, 53801. Hello, excuse me, can I say goodbye to my brother? Sure! <sighs> Station master's wrong, you know. Remember that mix up with the numbers? You're the first 7F, not me. I know. Anyway, I'll see you soon again, I hope. <sighs> goodbye. Goodbye. If 3800 was taken away for scrap and I didn't believe I would see him again. Two years later, I too was sent for scrap. I waited for my end for a long time. Every day new engines were arriving to the scrapyard, and every day preservationists came to purchase engines for their railways. One evening, I was resting in my siding when I saw a man approaching me. He said he has one of my brothers in his private shed, and he wants to buy me as well. So he did. And I was taken there, where I saw another than 53800. For the next couple of years, we stayed in the shed. Then last year, the man's son came to talk to us. 
He told us that he couldn't afford to keep us both and had already found a buyer. We were sad to be separated again, but we soon learned that he planned to send us both anyway. So we were cleaned up and steamed up, and soon left for the woodhead line, and after that, you know what happened. That's it. I see. Two for the price of one. Interesting story, fellas. Anyway, good night, lads. See ya tomorrow. And with that, Mr. Salmon walked away, happy to know more about his beloved 7Fs and their story. Time, new numbers, and different depots all seem to fade into memory for the old engines. Because whatever happened in their long lives, they would always be twins forever.